this super in Arizona. What's happening guys? Today I am in Phoenix, Arizona. I am in North Phoenix, roughly. I'm on 7th Street and Union Hills. We're going to take a look at this home right here. That's for rent. Now, from the looks of this home, I would say that it is a modular home or a manufactured home. But, I am uncertain. Before we take a look at the uh, property, we're gonna find out a little bit about the neighborhood. Hey, excuse me, are these all modular homes? Uh, you mean like put together? Like, are they uh, trailers? Yes. They don't look like trailers at all. Is it okay? Is this a great area that, that we're in right here? Yes, it's a pretty good area. Uh, what should I expect over here? The people, the neighborhood. Do I have to expect my car to get broken into? No, it, it hasn't been. They leave their bikes out and I tell them not to. Uh -huh. But uh, before I came, this is my daughter's home, um, they left their bikes out. Nobody took them, but they have to take them in because I said so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had to listen to Nana. <laughs> or else, right? It's a better idea. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, great neighborhood. How long have you lived here? Uh, I've been here about three weeks. Hey, where'd you move from? Uh, Peoria. And is this a, a, a certain age group over here? Uh, no, it's not a certain age group. There's people with little kids, there's older people, there's uh, teenagers, there's different ages. And nobody's bothered me. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, so she gave us the uh, 411. Is it the 411? Yeah, she gave us the 411. I'm going to walk over here to these gentlemen, and we're going to see what they have to say. I wish I could take y'all right up the street on 7th and Union Hills. There's your grocery stores. Think a couple little fast food joints. Yeah, it's a cool, cool area. Good hiking and stuff like that over here, too. Hi there. I'm doing great. Yourself? <laughs> How is it over here? Do you? How long have you lived here? Couple months. Oh, you just got here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. I see you got a nice little sale going on. Yeah, come spend some money. We'll be here. Ah. Oh, you keep on YouTube too. Hey, bring you some business, right? Uh, my mother would buy this in a heartbeat if she was here. My mom loves these right here. Oh, she would, she would possibly buy that in a heartbeat. I'm showing this just so she could see it. My mother, she's real big, but well, she lives in Wisconsin though, and uh, she won't walk past yeah. the sewing machine without and buying you got it. got me all self-conscious. Okay. Being on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? It's all right. <laughs> okay. All right, nice neighborhood though? Oh, it's a nice neighborhood. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at our house over here uh i believe guys this is going to be a three bedroom two bath pretty shocking for a uh for modular home let's go on the side let's check it out right out the gate guys let me tell you this they're gonna have to do something about this landscape what i'm not feeling about this landscape is that we got some little gravel here and then I got all these weeds going on without there being any grass. So uh, come on, if you're gonna show the show it, you got to at least get the landscape together. Got a nice tree here for some shade. And it looks like, I did see there's a driveway on this side. And then there's also gonna be a driveway along the other side. I think this here, we'll see what this is. This may be in the, oh. You know what I'm thinking that they did, guys? They attached two trailers. That's what this is. Look at this. Man, they may have attached three trailers. You got this one right here, right? This is obviously attached to this right here. We'll find out when we go inside. 
Let's go on in and check it out. Okay guys, three bedroom, three bath, 1,250 square foot. The covered patio, add your patio furniture, and you'll have a, a nice little view to look out. This also could be used as a covered carport as well. Well, nah, because you couldn't necessarily get your car up here if you're using it as a carport. Let's go on the side, take a look. All right, so right out the gate, guys, we walk in and uh, we walk right into the, what would be considered a great room. I'm just gonna call this a great room or formal living room. Take a look at the flooring. This is obviously a wood look laminate flooring. All right, got some uh, drawers and whatnot. A china cabinet-ish type thing. Here's your appliances. Do you have a fridge? There's your kitchen kitchen double sinks there there's your gas range gas stove no microwave but well, I guess you'll probably put your microwave right here it's a pretty old school freezer I'm kind of scared to open this thing up for real god I ain't gonna lie to you kind of got a little older in here this would be considered a pantry so what it's looking like, it looks like we are in, a, in one trailer right here that's possibly connected to this right here. I don't know. This right here is a, a door. And as you see, I'm six foot tall. <laughs> How tall this thing on door is. Let's, and this leads to a, what I was telling you before, to a back carport. But this is just, the, we'll call it the back door, right? Back part port. Looks like that's gonna be a door as well. We'll see, cause we're gonna go back in here. We're not gonna get too caught up in this area. And for the first time, guys, I'm gonna show you the backyard right off. There's your backyard. Okay. Since we're out here. Looks like they have a, a air condition, box air condition, so we're not uh, or window air conditioner, so it looks like we don't have central air. However, however, we may do have central air. I don't know, guys, if this thing is working. Here's our central air unit, but I'm seeing a box AC right there. Mixed messages. I don't know what to take as uh, the deal, and it is hot in here. Okay, headed right here. To our first room, this is a bedroom. So there we go. Walk back here into the, uh, ah, you have your own personal bathroom in this bedroom. Know a lot of you guys get on me about the lights, guys. The lights are not cut on here. So I can't turn any lights on, so bear with me. There's the toilet area, there's your shower. There's your closet. I can reach, I could touch the ceiling. <laughs> That's one bedroom, one bath. Coming out of there, you come right here, bam. And then here's a bath, another bathroom. Hey, we got the old school, I'm talking about old school lighting there's your tub and there's a toilet so this is bathroom number two moving along we're in here and i guess guys this will be another bedroom i'm guessing this is another bedroom windows there door 
separates that. There's a door right there. Separate this, so I guess you have to lock up with two doors. And yes, see how this opens up and bam, all the way down there. So I'm thinking this is, um, this is probably going to be considered another bedroom. I'm certain that this is considered another bedroom. Um, but this is also another trailer. And it feels a little, it don't feel wobbly, but when I'm taking steps, it's kind of like I'm, like I'm sinking in, as you know. This is another door that leads outside. Here, I'll pop this open and just take a look out. And this is another private area. Private patio type thing. Just to give you an idea of where we're at. We're right off of here. So you'll be looking out this way. And that leads into the backyard. So, let's go back in here. Uh, I guess they would, I guess this would be considered a, um, Bedroom. This is considered a bedroom. So this is three beds. We got one, two beds up there. We had the bathroom that's in the hallway. And then we got the bathroom that's uh that was in a bedroom. And then we had this here. This looks like to me what would be a washer dryer hookup. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. But you would have a this is the case, you have a washer dryer hookup in the bedroom. Keep moving forward here. I am in their bathroom. Okay. And then right here is that bonus room. Maybe this is the bedroom. I don't know how it's gonna be set up. There's that air conditioner. And guys, this ceiling right here, I'm not even reaching for this one. So, they also have a door to head outside and this is their own little setup. Okay. What do you think? I think this is a, I think this is kind of like a little, this is all a trailer right here. This is all just one trailer, one shot trailer, you know? So it's kind of like your private thing for real. If I was to guess, I bet you they room this this place. This looks like a like it was a rooming house. Like a person would have their own side over here, and boom, their own private access is in and out, you know, sort of deal. This right here seems like uh, this seems like an add-on as well. I'm not certain. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is your central air, 87 degrees up in this piece. So yeah. Yeah, like those comments up, tell me what you think. We're gonna go ahead in the back. I don't know what the heck this is. There's a carport right here that I showed you guys before. And this right here, I'm thinking, would be considered the backyard. Pretty sizable backyard, but man, this backyard definitely needs some TLC. Looks like uh, what was once a fire pit. This looks like some kind of shed or something that was here before. Hey, there go. It's a nice golf ball right there, guys. It's Callaway. Yeah. And this thing is, I mean, it's so many cactus. You're not gonna be able to do anything back here. I'm thinking they probably opted out all the windows to keep the sun out. I don't know, you, you know, I'm just trying to make it work for you guys. <laughs> Here's all the setup right here. Looks like the water spout there. Three bedroom, three bath, um, 1,250 
square foot. Hold on, hold on. Let me set up. Let me set up the price for you. This beauty could be yours. Three bedroom, three bath. 1,250 square foot. I don't know if that on top is the AC. That would be like a swamp cooler. I don't know if the thing in the back is the AC. But we seen we had a box of AC. I mean, AC is questionable, okay? This lovely beauty could be yours for the low price of $2,000 a month. It's not true. That's impossible. $2,000 a month. Great area, great community, and neighborhood that you like. I wanted to bring to you a modular home, RV type living sort of thing. Wanted to see if this would be a reasonable rent over here. Light up those comments, tell me what you think. This is your man, Big Super, over and out. Holla at your boy. Peace. Ah, holla. Dreams.